All right, our draft today, Achilles heels that could derail a team season in 2019. We have gotten rid. We have we have matured past. We've evolved beyond the coin toss. We now use a trivia question. Today, I ask it, you answer it. Here it is. Big Cat, which kicker has the best field goal percentage in the NFL since 2016? Mm. It, it, I mean, Justin Tucker feels like the obvious answer here. No, no, it's Robbie Gold, former Bears kicker, who oh, has converted yeah, I should, on I 82 yeah. of 85 for a 96.5 percentage. That means I get the first pick, and sometimes it's great to have the first pick because the first pick is so obvious. It's been the story of the offseason. It comes right off of the double doink. The Bears can't find a kicker. Eddie Pinheiro is currently their best option. He won't be their kicker two weeks from tomorrow night. It's going to be somebody. I just don't know who. Maybe it'll be Morton Anderson. The Bears kicking situation is the number one Achilles heel that can derail a team season in 2019. That is, that's a terrible pick. That's a terrible yeah, pick. Yeah, yeah, The it obvious is. pick is a terrible pick. No, how about the obvious pick? Andrew Luck's health, Mike. That would be the obvious pick. That's my first pick. We don't know what's going on with Andrew Luck. You said yourself the Colts have Super Bowl aspirations. They came back last year and were fantastic. They had a dynamite draft, you know, in 2018. Andrew Luck's health is the most important and biggest Achilles heel for a certain team. The Colts can win their division very easily if he's healthy all year, if he's MVP caliber Andrew Luck, but we don't know. So that is the Achilles heel. That season ends. If the Bears miss a couple kicks, their season isn't over. If Andrew Luck doesn't play, their season is officially over. Yeah, I don't know how much Greek mythology they teach at Wisconsin, but you need to brush up on what the Achilles heel is. Andrew Luck's situation is far bigger than that one little weakness at the bottom of the foot. It's the whole leg. It's the whole lower half of his body. We don't know what the hell is going on with him. It's much bigger than an Achilles heel. And all those, they have Jim Kobe Brissett, and they kind of believe in him. For the, the Bears fit this perfectly because they got everything else. They're the team that everyone in Vegas is betting on to win the Super Bowl. But they got that one little flaw that they can't quite fix. And it's fitting because it deals with the foot. It's the back of the foot. That's it. So the Bears are the much better choice. I don't want to get into the whole lawyer thing with you, but the Bears are the much better choice. It, Andrew Luck literally is dealing with a foot. He, I think it might even be an Achilles heel injury. It went from his calf to his ankle. It's literally it's migrating. His Achilles heel. It's, yes. It's the, the injury is mobile. It has moved down from his kneecap to uh, the bottom of his foot. All right, round two. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit challenging, I, but I think this one is still fairly obvious given the retirement of Rob Gronkowski. Benjamin Watson is back in New England. He suspended the first four games. Dwayne Allen is gone. I don't know who the hell is going to play tight end for the New England Patriots. They got everything else, especially with Josh Gordon back. They don't have tight ends. Patriots tight end, Achilles heel for the team that most believe will be at least in the Final Four, if not back in the Super Bowl in 2019. All right, so here's where I disagree with this pick. Uh, the Patriots, they change year to year. There's no one better in the game than changing what the, the DNA of a team is than Bill Belichick. So just because they have, don't, don't have Robert Gronkowski doesn't mean they won't be successful switching it up. You saw it last year when... The, uh, they didn't have that deep threat when Josh Gordon leaves the team. They become a running team, a power team. What's to say they can't just switch it back if Josh Gordon comes back and now they're throwing it deep? So I, I don't think that's really an Achilles heel. It doesn't feel – it feels like you would – you know, the doctor has a very quick fix for that, and his name is Bill Belichick. Well, I mean, we'll say, and you know what? The quick fix may eventually be Tom Brady getting on the phone with Rob Gronkowski and saying, come back, because I've been told that – as it relates to Rob Gronkowski possibly unretiring, a huge factor in that would be a personal plea from Tom Brady to get him to come back. So maybe it's not an Achilles heel because he won't come back. I don't want to undermine my own pick. But for now, going into the season, I see it as an Achilles heel. All right, what do you got? You just did. You undermine your own pick. All right, my next one, another health thing. I don't know why it's so hard for you to understand Achilles heel. I'm just going to say the Chargers' health overall because this has happened the last few years where they seem to lose big key pieces early Derwin James already on the list, so it already feels like it's happening. The Chargers are that team that we've been talking about for the last few years of can they take that next step? Are they Super Bowl worthy? And it feels like the injuries have always been their Achilles heel, Mike. 
Yeah, but there's so – again, it's so widespread. It's like here we go again. It's not an Achilles heel. It, it is the – they don't have uh, they don't have their basic level of protection. They, 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 they don't have armor. They're going into battle naked. That's the problem with the Chargers. They always have these injuries. They always have these issues to the point where – and I say this all the time. when you, you the, the, Only so much can be attributed to bad luck. And we'll see every week. There are guys who get their bodies pretzeled up and they bounce back and they're fine. Alexander Madison the other night in that Seahawks-Vikings game. I thought he had a torn ACL. He stayed in the game and he ran the ball the next play. At some level, it's about your training staff, your everything about what you do to get your guys ready to play and to keep them on the field. And, and for the Chargers, they're one of the teams where that alarm has to be going off. It's so much. It's just like Andrew Luck. It's so much bigger than the Achilles heel, in my view. Okay, well, I just picked right. another injury, and it's Derwin James, another foot injury, similar to the Achilles heel. All right, there are so many that I can choose from. We may need to go four rounds here if we have enough time. I'm going to go with um, the Steelers' number two receiver position. I've heard a lot of different names, and there's been a lot of optimism, whether it's Dante Moncrief, James Washington, Deontay Johnson, but – you're moving Juju Smith-Schuster, who was great, who was phenomenal as the number two receiver last year, a guy who won the team MVP award as the number two receiver. He now moves over to number one. He gets all the attention that goes along with it. The running backs are going to get a certain amount of attention. It's going to create an opportunity for that number two receiver to draw favorable matchups, to get open, and to make things happen. And if this Steelers offense is going to work to the level that it needs to to make people forget about Antonio Brown – and Le'Veon Bell, they need a number two receiver to step up. But I just think that right now they don't know who the hell it's going to be, what the guy's going to do, and that's got the potential to be a problem for the Steelers this year. As they, do, you know, it's been a weird kind of a life cycle for the Steelers off season. They've gone from having no expectations to kind of there's a there's a sense, hey, you know what? They actually have high expectations, and they're pissed off at everybody, and they're rallying around each other, and they're going to have a good year. They need to have a good performance out of the number two receiver, and that could be the Achilles heels for the Steelers offense and for the entire team. But if you throw out the Chargers and say they're always injured, you have to throw out the Steelers here because they always find a way with wide receivers. I wouldn't be worried whatsoever. They always find a way. Well, but that's the Achilles heel because if they don't, that'll be the thing that causes them to fall apart. Okay, well, uh, another bad pick by you. I'll go my last pick. I'll go with the Chiefs secondary. They've tried to fix it a little bit. You know, they bring in Tyron Matthew. Don't slander the honey badger. I'm not going to slander the honey badger. They're trying to fix it, but that will be what does the Chiefs in. We know the offense will be there. They had, I think they were the second worst in pass defense last year. You remember the AFC Championship game. It felt like the when once Tom Brady got rolling and, and Julian Edelman in that fourth quarter and overtime, they could get whatever they wanted every single play. They ran almost the same play over and over, and the Chiefs had no answer. So the Chiefs have a Super Bowl caliber team. They have Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, you name it. If they get done in, it's going to be that secondary not showing up in the big moments. All right, stats tells me we've got time for a round four. Do you have another pick? Yeah, Are Cam you ready Newton's to go? shoulder. All right. Cam Newton's shoulder. Boom. Wait a minute, Achilles it's my steel. turn. It's Achilles' shoulder. It's my turn. You I, I wasn't going to take Cam Newton's shoulder. I'm going to say the Eagles' backup quarterback situation. I love Josh McCown, but – all of a sudden, they're bringing him off of the analyst desk at ESPN to come in and be number two, not, not just kind of be there to be the veteran presence. He's number two behind Carson Wentz. He's in the Nick Foles spot, and we've seen what the Nick Foles spot is each of the last two years. You're going to play at some point, and I don't know that Josh McCown is going to be able to step in, figure out that offense, perform the way that he needs to, if and when the opportunity arises. If not him, it's Nate Sudfeld, it's Thurston Howell the third. I don't know what's going on with the backup quarterback position in Philadelphia, but it is critical because of Carson Wentz's tendency to get injured. So for me, round four, Eagles backup quarterback situation. And for you, it's Cam Newton and that shoulder that either is or isn't healed with a new throwing motion. And who knows how he's going to play and who knows whether he's going to be able to throw the ball and who knows whether or not he's going to be able to stay healthy. So I can't disagree with that one either. All right. I mean, I dominated this draft, including the fourth round, because again, I don't think, I think we have a, a totally uh, different understanding of Achilles heel here. If the Eagles, if Carson Wentz does not, if he gets hurt, their season's over. Oh, like it was two years ago when they won the Super Bowl? Like no, that they had Nick Foles. It's a little that, different. They couldn't pay that's two my quarterbacks point. like that. You're making my point. No, that's their Achilles heel because no. they don't have a backup quarterback that they can feel as good about as they felt about 
Nick Foles. Come on, man. Carson Wentz's body is their Achilles heel. That's All right, uh, a couple of others that I considered, and then we got to take a break. I had Chiefs running back situation as a potential Achilles heel on that offense. The Cowboys' stubbornness, Todd Gurley's knee, and I love Freddie Kitchens, but the Browns coaching, if it doesn't work in Cleveland, that's going to be the thing that could be the undoing. So The only other one I would add is uh, you started with the Bears kicking. I actually would say it's the Bears' injury luck more than anything. Last year, they didn't have that big, big injury. Eddie Jackson got injured towards the end of the year. The Khalil Mack missed a couple of games. Injury luck is a fickle thing in the NFL, and if you can't stay healthy, a team staying healthy throughout the year, it can switch on you just like that. Dude, you just jinxed your team. You no, I didn't. You just jinxed the Bears. Yes, you did. being honest, Mike. I, can't, I don't have the power break. to jinx. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.